This story is for Sabbath, April 20th. The title is Goodbye to the Past. In the bustling streets of Tashkent, Uzbekistan, Vlad's life was once a whirlwind of money and excess. In the early 1990s, as the Soviet Union crumbled, Vlad seized opportunities, running a prosperous butter factory by day and orchestrating clandestine poker games by night. With his wife Marina by his side, they amassed wealth, acquiring multiple apartments in the heart of the capital. But fate took a sharp turn when Vlad's illicit dealings caught up with him, landing him in prison and driving Marina away. Amidst the desolation of his confinement, Vlad, for the first time, turned to a higher power, bargaining with God in a moment of desperation. Released from prison through an unexpected amnesty, Vlad's pledge to the divine slipped from his mind as he resumed his pursuit of riches. Remarrying and venturing to South Korea for work, he soon found himself back in Uzbekistan, where a chance encounter with faith reshaped his priorities. Drawn into the fold of a Seventh-day Adventist church by his second wife, Aliona, Vlad's focus shifted from money to matters of the soul. Over three transformative years, he embraced Christianity, surrendering his heart to Jesus and forsaking his former life of materialism. Embracing his newfound faith, Vlad embarked on a missionary journey as a global mission pioneer dedicated to spreading the gospel among his fellow Uzbeks. Despite the stark contrast in income, his commitment to God remained unwavering. Yet, a poignant test of his newfound convictions arose when Marina resurfaced, laying claim to their shared properties. Unfazed by the lure of wealth, Vlad willingly relinquished the apartments, viewing them as relics of a past devoid of spiritual enlightenment. As Vlad signed away his former possessions, the notary's incredulous gaze met his resolute demeanor. His actions, though confounding to Marina, reflected a profound inner transformation fueled by faith and a newfound sense of purpose. Leaving the notary's office with a lightness in his step, Vlad carried no regrets for his decisions. His allegiance now rested solely with God, who, he professed, provided abundantly for his needs. Vlad said in an interview that his love for money is a thing of the past. Today, he loves God and loves sharing him with others. God provides for all of my needs, he said. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help open the first Seventh-day Adventist Elementary School in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Thank you for planning a generous offering on June 29th.